you think about the legalities and the, the, the regulations and the legislation that is behind what we do as funeral industry people, where we're, we're transporting a deceased person from, plan, or from A to B or dealing with outside agencies or coroners or municipalities, there's literally paperwork that follows every single step along the way where there, there's registration processes before you can embark on, a, on a, any kind of a, a destination with a deceased person. Uh, you need to have documentation to say, this is who this person, person is. These are the permissions that I have to transport this person, as well as the paperwork that needs to be given to the receiving person, whether you're going to a cemetery, crematorium, uh, whatnot, that they, they are going to be looking at all the documentation that we bring with us to verify, do you have the right person? Do you have permissions? Was this person registered properly? And, and it could seem like, oh my goodness, it's, it's almost too much pa paperwork, but really all for good reason that, uh, 10 years later, I can open up any file and say, uh, this person passed away at this place. And then the, the chain of custody, the, uh, his body went to this location. We had these permissions. We then had this direction from this government agency. We then went to this location. So you can literally track the movements of a person's body for one, but then also not just that, it's all the, uh, you, you can't just sort of cremate someone on a whim. There needs to be very clear direction from an executor or from a next of kin or from a court appointed person. We're, we're doing that and just kind of gl glossing through for the family so that the family can just be the family and not worry about all those minutiae details.